You're keeping us company. Yeah. Accused person, contrary to section 393 of the penal code, and count two is an attempt to commit a felony, contrary to section 398 of the penal code. The prosecution made an application to oppose bond for accused number two to accused number seven by um, affidavit of number 8552, Corporal Charles Odiambo, dated 28th day of December 2023. Counsel for the accused persons put in a joint response for the same on the third day of January 2024. The court also notes that they all, the prosecution did not oppose the release of accused number one at all. I have related the application by the state on opposing bond and the response by the defense. Bond is a constitutional right under Article 491H of the Constitution, except where there are compelling reasons for denial. An arrested person has a right to be released on bond or reasonable bail pending charge or trial unless there are compelling reasons not to be released. That is the wording of Article 491H. Article 52 gives the accused person the presumption of innocence until proven guilty. Section 123 of the CPC, the law states that in making consideration for bail and bond, the court shall have regard to all circumstances and in particular, the nature or seriousness of the offense, the character, antecedents, associations, and community, community ties of the accused persons, the defendants, sorry, the accused persons records in respect to fulfillment of obligation under previous grants of bail, strength of the evidence of him or he of them having committed the offense. The objective of bond and bail is to grant the accused person a chance to attend his trial while free and not in custody. However, this is not this right is not absolute. The bail and bond guidelines offer the following non exhaustive factors to consider when faced with bail application. One is the nature of charge of the offense and the seriousness and the punishment to be netted if the accused person is found guilty, strength of the prosecution case, character and antecedents of the accused persons, failure of the accused person to observe bond terms, the likelihood of interfering with witnesses, the need to protect the victims of crime, the relationship between the accused persons and the potential witnesses, if the accused persons are flight risk, whether the accused person is gainfully employed, public order, peace and security, protection of the accused person's right. Look at the case of Job Kenyanya Musoni versus Republic, the High Court Criminal Appeal number 399 of 2012, where the court held that the key consideration when deciding the issue of bail is whether the accused person will attend trial, whether the accused person is likely to abscond. Republic versus Sabit Deng and another High Court of Kenya at Lodua, criminal case number nine of 2020, Judge Olga Sewe held that it is not unusual for courts in such circumstances to impose such conditions as are necessary with the view of striking a proper balance between the accused person's constitutional right to bail and bond and the interest of justice. I have violated the application by the prosecution and the response by the counsel. I hold that bail and bond is a constitutional right upon being charged, but the same is not absolute. I take cognizance, sorry, I take special cognizance of second accused peculiar circumstance, given that indeed he's facing charges in another matter pending before this court and was released on bond when this incident occurred. The fact that um, he's Sorry, the fact that he's, pro he's innocent until proven guilty, but has in fact been arrested and charged in this matter, makes the court raise doubt as to his suitability of being granted bail. I will grant b bond and bail, but with the following conditions. That accused number three, four, five, six, and seven, be and are hereby admitted to bond of one million Kenya shillings, surety of similar amount, the surety shall be verified by the investigating officer. In the alternative, they shall deposit a cash bill of 500,000 shillings each. Two contact persons to be verified by the investigating officers. Before they are released, these contact persons shall be subjected to court for examination.
all accused persons shall deposit their passports and or, so, and or any travel documents, both valid and invalid, to the court. To this end, they shall supply the investigating officers with a national identity card to enable him to confirm their status with the immigration department. Bond is a constitutional right, but not absolute. For now, I will hold back from granting accused number two bail, subject to review at a later date, as the court will see fit. the media people to finish and give us a little space. I want to remain with the council.